Hi gorgeous and a very happy Frugal Friday to you. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I make videos like this every Friday, reviewing drugstore makeup, so please subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. Today I have two entirely brand new palettes to share with you from Rimmel. You may remember that I did a review on their Spice palette about a month ago and I had compared it to Urban Decay's Naked Heat palette dead on dupe, no differences between the two. And I actually like the Rimmel palette 10 times better. If you happen to miss that video, I will have it linked for you below. Well, several of you brought to my attention that they also came out with three brand new palettes that are of the same quality as the Spice palette, because you may remember when I had first started reviewing their Magnifies palettes, I wasn't too impressed with the first round of colors they came out with. They lacked pigmentation. Very disappointing. I actually had an allergic reaction to one of them. So you can imagine my hesitation with trying some of the other ones they had come out after that, but so far so good. Unfortunately, I could only find two of the three. I'm telling you, I went to at least four different Walmarts looking for the third one, can't find it. But the ones I was able to get are their Crimson Magnifies palette and the Electric Violet palette, which I know so many of you have been asking me about this one. I'll show you swatches, looks, give you my full review for each one coming up here in a second. All right, so let's start with the Crimson palette because it just happened to be luck of the draw. A lot of really warm tones in this palette, as you can guess by the name. Good mixture of shimmers and mattes in here. A little reminiscent of the Spice palette. So if you were going to ask me would I go for this one or the Spice palette, I would probably tell you the Spice palette over this one. Although it's a really great quality and I was highly impressed with the color payoff with these eyeshadows. And if you wanted to own both, I would say go for it because for $8 a piece, you're not breaking the bank. And if you love warm tones, I guarantee you, you will enjoy this eyeshadow palette. To recreate the look that I'm showing you here with this palette, I'll show you the palette and I will point to each shade as I'm referencing it so you can see how to recreate the look yourself. First, I took one of those matte red shades from the right side of the palette and used it to deepen and define the crease. Then I went in with the dusty mauve matte shade and used that to blend out the edges of that intense red that we first applied in the crease. Taking this gorgeous copper shade from the palette, I applied it solely on the middle of the lid. Using the neutral yellow, I applied this on the inner third of the lid, and I did have to apply this wet. It was one of those eyeshadows that wouldn't apply very well by itself. Finally, I took the deep matte brown from the palette and used it on the outer third of the lid, and I also carried this up into the outer V. I had forgotten that I recorded a mini tutorial for each of these looks. So hopefully that's a little better at explaining because I know in the past when I've shown you just the looks with the instructions, some people tend to get confused by that. So hopefully that's a little bit more helpful. Let me know what you think and I'll continue to do that kind of format if you found it better than what I was doing before. Moving on to the Electric Violet palette. Now this one was pretty good in terms of color payoff, but there were a lot more misses in this palette than being all around hits, like with the Spice and the Crimson palettes. And I honestly think it's because purple is one of those colors that is really hard to produce. And I know a lot of companies struggle with producing purple. I'm not really sure why. So going to give Rimmel a little bit of a pass there because if you take the time to apply some of these eyeshadows wet, they do get a little bit intensified on the eyes and they're not all completely bad. It's mainly the shimmers in this palette that you will struggle a little bit with in application, but the mattes are really great. For the look I'm showing you here, very quick mini tutorial for you. I'm first taking this gorgeous matte red toned purple and using it to deepen and define the crease. Probably my most favorite shade out of this palette. 
And then just like with the Crimson palette, I went in with one of the lighter toned purples at the top of the palette and used it to blend out the edges of that deeper purple. Taking this really dark bluish purple, I applied it on the outer half of the lid and carried it up into the outer V. Using the Sigma E25 brush here, if you're curious, by the way, it's a great brush for outer V work. Finally, I took the lightest shimmer eyeshadow from this palette and applied it to the inner half of the lid. And just like with the Crimson palette, I did have to apply this one wet to get it to show up. Now, like I had mentioned, both of these palettes retail for $8 a piece. You can find them in Walmart stores. Hopefully, now someone on Snapchat did share with me that what she did was she downloaded the Walmart app and then went on there and searched for her store or stores around her to see if the item was in stock. I don't know if this palette collection is too new to be on Walmart's website. I haven't checked there myself yet, but that was really great advice, so I wanted to share that with you. If you are searching for these palettes and you're having trouble locating them and you don't want to drive all over the place, try that out. You may find it to be very helpful, but they are worth hunting down because they're pretty good. Like I said, the violet one has some issues, but you can work with them and really intensify some of the shimmers if you really put some effort into them. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you've tried out any of these palettes yourself and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Have a wonderful weekend ahead.